specialty coffee on its own is already a niche interest. But once you hit a certain level, not one enthusiast or hobbyist hasn't considered roasting their own. Now the options out there are as broad as they are for everything else in coffee, and you can spend as much or as little as you'd like, but at the top end of the home roaster food chain is the Alio Bullet. If you follow me on Instagram, insert shameless plug here, you've likely seen it pop up here and there over the past few months. Over that time, I've roasted about 50 batches on a few different coffees, gave it a deep clean, and dug into its user experience from hardware to software. And now I finally feel like I have enough to say to put it into a full video. So today I'll be breaking down my user experience with the IEO Bullet, from its workflow to its shortfalls and everything in between. So let's get to it. Moving from front to back, let's get in a quick overview of the main components on the Bullet. The first thing you'll probably notice is a control panel. As you'd likely expect, this is where you'll make changes to the Bullet's 9 heat, drum, and fan speed settings, as well as tracking the all-important time, rate of rise, and temperature. I found the controls on the Bullet a little intimidating at first, but fell into a good rhythm once I got a couple roasts in. Directly to the right, you've got the inlet, and that's where you place the included hopper when loading your green coffee. Below that, the cutest little trier you ever did see and then the sight glass window attached to the weighted handle. Of course, as the beans drop, this leads to a stainless cooling tray that's attached to a fan to assist in getting those hot beans down to room temp. Moving along the side, you've got the drum housing, which below has the power board, which controls the induction heater, and the outlets for the power and the cooling tray are on opposite sides. And finally, at the tail end, you've got the removable chaff collector and the exit port for smoke. One of the big questions people have about the IEO Bullet is how it compares to a full-size commercial roaster. I mean, beyond the obvious. Of course, there are some workflow wrinkles that I had to iron out. But once I got into a flow, I found the Bullet easier and overall more precise than its commercial counterparts on a lot of levels. This all starts from the moment you set your charge or preheat temperature, which can range from 160 to 310 degrees Celsius. The roaster will automatically reach, then maintain that temperature until everything is fully warmed up and stabilized. When it's ready to go, the roaster will enter charge mode on its own. For those new to the roaster lingo, charging is dropping the beans into the roaster. Then break out the hopper, which is essentially a removable funnel that needs to be placed, the green coffee poured in, and then removed and corked. As the beans enter the drum, the roaster will automatically detect them and enter roast mode. Now, keep in mind, all these modes can be entered manually by pressing the PRS button, but it'll roll from preheat to roasting automatically. As I mentioned earlier, through the roasting process, you can control the heat, fan, and drum speed on the control panel, but you can also do it through the roast time software, which I'll get more into soon. To end the roast, hit the PRS button to switch into cooling mode and drop the beans into the cooling tray, then get to stirring. And for those who plan on running back-to-back -back roasts, it's as simple as just re-entering the preheating mode and the whole process just starts anew. But for the sake of consistency, I do it the same every time, letting it drop down to 400 degrees and then I return into preheat mode. I also clean out the chaff from the cooling tray and the collector about every two roasts. I just take them both outside and empty the chaff into my yard. And from there, deeper cleaning is actually pretty straightforward and is only required about every 30 kilograms. Just bust out the included tool kit, some warm water, a towel, and some espresso machine cleaner, and you're well on your way to getting things all glossed up. From day one of my roasting career, I was put in front of Cropster, which arguably is the most widely used roasting software. Of course, that's for a good reason. It's generally pretty intuitive, and its built-in abilities of inventory, quality, and batch-to-batch -batch consistency are pretty great. So when I got the Bullet, among my concerns was having to learn a new software, but IEO's roast time program was actually an easier transition than I expected. The graph itself still shows all the data a professional roaster could want, and then some, and is highly customizable from the max parameters all the way to the colors. In terms of the roasting process on the program, it's actually very similar to Cropster. I even found it a little more user-friendly, 
As the program can make direct changes to the roast in real time as opposed to Cropster, just marking points on the graph as the changes are made manually on the roaster. It also records all of those changes made on the profile automatically. So if you find a great roast and want to reproduce the profile, you can select playback on roast time, which essentially is an auto roast mode that I found to be surprisingly consistent batch to batch. And comes in very handy if you're doing any sort of production roasting. But with that said, the software itself isn't perfect. I find the recipes function for creating profiles kind of clunky and awkward to use versus just running playback. And inputting new inventory is simple, but when marking coffee used in a roast on the application, it doesn't seem to always work, forcing me to go to the roast.world website to edit roast manually. Which on its own really isn't a big deal, but it feels like an annoying extra step. Overall, roast time does have its bugs and its user interface issues, but generally it does a pretty good job for an in-house software on doing exactly what I need it to do. As someone whose majority of roasting experience was on a full-size, gas-run commercial roaster, I have my concerns about switching to the Bullet. But honestly, it's just as effective at roasting quality coffee than the Dietrich or the San Franciscan that I used previously. And even though the automatic functions may not be for the roasting purist, I found it great for both my personal consumption and for my business. The software allows me to be fully present when I want to be, like when I'm profiling a new coffee, or a relatively passive observer using the playback mode on a previous roast profile. Its build is handsome, light, and easy to move around by hand, or just placed on a simple cart for roasting wherever you want. And much like many coffee tools, it has a large community willing to help you navigate any issues or questions you might have. As someone who's reviewed a lot of coffee equipment over the years, and a lot of expensive coffee equipment, I rarely can say this, so here it is. But for something that's $3,500, the Bullet has actually performed at or above my expectations, which is coming from a home roaster, but it's also coming from an experienced production roaster. The Alio Bullet is a quality piece of equipment, and it's definitely something I'd recommend if you're looking to take your home roasting to the next level, production for a small cafe, or even expensive micro lots. And with all that said, I think it's time I wrap this one up and pass the conversation on to you. Are you a roaster, an aspiring roaster, or just a curious coffee lover? Have you roasted on the bullet? Have you had coffee roasted from the bullet? And of course, what do you think of gas versus electric roasting? Drop your answers to those questions and any others you may have in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Check out my Instagram at Spermetheus for content throughout the week, my blog at Spermetheus.com, my coffee at littlegiant.coffee, and as always, stay caffeinated. Pony boy.